When we talk about life on Earth, most of us immediately think about humans, animals, forests and even oceans. Basically life on the surface, which is in some way or another dependent on sunlight. But what if I told you there might be another world of life? A life that is hidden deep underground, that survives without any sunlight at all. And what if I told you that this is the same kind of life that could exist right now on Mars? Welcome to Pure Science, I am Soumya Pillai and today I am here with an interesting new study by scientists from the Guangzhou Institute of Biochemistry in China who have been studying what powers life deep beneath the Earth's surface. We are talking about microbes living kilometers underground inside solid rock in complete darkness where temperatures and pressures are extreme. Now it goes without saying that in the absence of sunlight, these tiny forms of life cannot use photosynthesis. So the question is, how do they get their energy? And that brings us to the fascinating part. The team found that one of the biggest sources of energy in the depths of Earth comes from Earth itself, from the movement of its crust. Whenever there is an earthquake or when a rock shifts and cracks under pressure, water trapped in these rocks can seep into the fractures and when water touches freshly broken rock surfaces, a chemical reaction is triggered. This reaction splits the water molecule creating hydrogen gas and chemicals called oxidants like hydrogen peroxide. But why is this important? Well, hydrogen and oxidants are rich in energy. So they set up something scientists call the redox gradient. Redox gradient is basically a chemical imbalance that living organisms can tap into for power. Microbes underground use these chemical gradients in the same way we use food as fuel to stay alive, grow and even reproduce. Scientists found that this earthquake driven process can produce up to 100,000 times more hydrogen than other well known underground processes like serpentinization. This is a geological process where Ultramafic rocks, which are rocks that are rich in iron and magnesium, react with water, transforming them into serpentine minerals and release hydrogen gas. Now this means deep underground, there could be a massive reserve of energy constantly being produced, enough to sustain a whole ecosystem of microbial life. If you remember, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned this study providing hints of life on Mars. Now you might be wondering where Mars fits into the picture in all of this. Let me tell you how. Researchers believe that the same process could happen on other rocky planets, especially the ones that have a history of geological activity and water. And Mars is a perfect candidate. Past studies have confirmed that billions of years ago, Mars probably had liquid water flowing on its surface and its crust was more active. Even today, when Mars doesn't have active plate tectonics like Earth, it still experiences quakes called Mars quakes and it also has been hit countless number of times by meteors. Both of these events, quakes and meteor impacts, can fracture the rock deep below. And if water is present in those cracks, the same reactions could go on to produce hydrogen and oxidants and thereby possibly support underground microbial life. This study has the potential to provide a completely different way of finding life beyond Earth. For years, most Mars missions have focused on finding life on the surface. And this is despite having observations on its harsh freezing temperatures with a toxic atmosphere and intense radiation from the sun. It is not friendly to life as we know it. But underground, it could be a completely different story. The rock layers could potentially be shielding microbes from radiation, keeping temperatures more stable while locking in pockets of water and nutrients. This, like I said, could give a new direction to Mars missions. Scientists could drill into the crust or use instruments to detect underground chemistry, searching for hydrogen, oxidants and other chemical fingerprints of life. This study also reshapes our own understanding of the existence of life because it proves that you don't necessarily need sunlight to support life. Highlighting that despite such great advancements in science, there is still so much that we do not know about our home planet. With this thought, I sign out. You were watching Pure Science with me, Soumya Pillai.